CSA 823.2-3C Making and Curing Concrete Compressive and Flexural Test Specimen This video will be demonstrating the making of compressive strength specimen. The apparatus required are cylinder molds typically 100 mm diameter by 200 mm in height or 150 mm diameter by 300 mm in height. A rubber or rawhide mallet weighing 0.60 plus or minus 0.30 kilograms. A strike off bar measuring approximately 6 mm by 25 mm by 450 mm. A steel tamping rod measuring 450 to 600 mm in length and a diameter of 10 plus or minus 1 mm when using the 100 mm diameter cylinder mold or a diameter of 16 plus or minus 1 mm when using the 150 mm diameter cylinder molds. First, obtain a representative sample in accordance with CSA A23.2-1C. Place the concrete in the mold, moving a scoop or blunted trowel around the edge of the mold as the concrete is discharged. Distribution of the concrete by using the tamping rod is permitted. Fill the mold in three equal layers. Rod each layer 20 times using a 10 mm diameter rod, uniformly distributing the strokes. For flowing superplasticized concrete with a slump greater than 180 mm, use 40% of the required stroke. Rod the bottom layer throughout its depth. If voids are left by the tamping rod, Close the voids by tapping the sides of the mold smartly 10 to 15 times with the mallet. An open hand shall be used to tap light gauge single use molds that are susceptible to damage if tapped with a mallet. Rod the middle and top layers to a depth of 25 millimeters into the underlying layers. Strike off the surface with the tamping rod if consistency permits, or finish with a wood float or trowel. Cover the specimens immediately with non-absorptive, non-reactive cap or plastic sheet, or place in an impervious plastic bag. Transport the finished cylinder molds to the location where they are to be stored during the initial curing period. The mold shall be placed on a rigid, horizontal, flat surface free from vibration or other disturbances. The entire test must be completed within 20 minutes after sampling, including transporting and remixing. During the initial curing, the test specimen shall be stored in a controlled environment that maintains the temperature between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius. The loss of moisture from the specimen shall be prevented. The maximum and minimum temperatures during the initial curing period shall be reported. Note, these requirements necessitate an appropriate temperature and moisture controlled curing facility on the project site. This completes CSA A23.2-3C, Making of Compressive Strength Specimens.